Welcome back to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. I'm so grateful that you're here for your Lionsgate 88 Lovers Oracle messages. Okay, I am quite literally doing this on a whim. I am quite literally not prepared with a plan of how these cards are coming out, but they will. Um, Spirit has guided me to do this, and I always trust in Holy Spirit. Now, 8 8 Lion's Gate. What is that, right? Um, I believe, remember, belief is everything. So if you don't believe, <laughs> feel free not to. But I believe um, that it's a opportunity for us all, the collective, to connect with the deeper meaning of our lives and our soul's purpose, which I believe is to move and walk and breathe and be in love. All right. Now, <clears throat> according to bustle.com we have so what is the lion's gate portal and power of 88 eight? Eight? the energy is activated by a few factors combined the rising of the star sirius which becomes visible in the eastern sky on or around 88 eight each year its alignment with the powerful summer sun in leo and the numerological symbolism of the number eight all of these factors carry majorly auspicious symbolism and work together to make August 8th a particularly lucky day for manifesting success and turning your dreams into reality. So if you're into setting intentions or connecting with cosmic energy, you don't want to sleep on the opportunity. And so I confer with spirit now. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of the collective, whoever's watching, whoever you were, um, whoever you led to the channel, essentially, um, please let them hear, let them see, let them read, let them understand messages from their soulmates, okay? Whether you are single or together at the sound of my voice, these messages are coming in for you from your higher self and from your soulmate's higher self, okay? Um... For anyone interested in a personal reading, do reach out to me. Information in the description box below. Anyone else's fingers extra fat like early in the morning? I just struggled to get my middle ring on. It's still not all the way. Harrow. Okay. Let's get started. So, messages for dear Aries. Divine feminine energy and divine masculine energy. What are the messages your soulmate would like to relay? Dear Aries, if you are the divine feminine, this is the message from your masculine. Messages from the masculine. Lionsgate portal, 8 8. Dear Aries, our love is forever. I want a future with you. Please forgive me. Loving you is easy because you're beautiful. I trust you. Dear Aries, if you are the divine feminine, your divine masculines 
would like to say that your love is forever and they want futures with you. Be it friendship or acquaintance, be it marriage, and the like, committed unions. Your love is forever, they want futures with you. They're asking for forgiveness at the center. So for a lot of you, I feel like you've already met your soulmate and you've already gone through some very sticky situations together and your divine masculine wants forgiveness. Loving you is easy because you're beautiful says the masculine and also they trust you all right this is very beautiful because i receive all of this all right being an aries myself divine masculine if you're watching this this is what your higher self needs to hear from your soulmate, your divine feminine. Divine feminine's expressions of love, 8-8 eight, eight, Lionsgate. Divine feminine's expressions of love, 8-8 eight, eight, Lionsgate. Forever, my love. I've never loved anyone as much as I love you. I'm ready for our next chapter. I want a future with you. So we saw this twice. So dear Aries, both masculine and feminine want a future together. You're not alone. Your true soulmate. We have several soulmates. Few will be true. True few. Some will be false. But there's a true soulmate for you out there, divine feminine. I'm sorry, divine masculine. <laughs> Who would like a future with you as well. So you both do. Feminine and masculine as well as say less and do more divine masculine your feminines want you to do more actions are speaking louder than words they've never loved anyone as much as they love you divine masculine forever their love just like you iterated that our love was forever so you guys are pretty much in sync dear aries you and your soulmates they're all they're ready for their next chapter with you so again, I have a feeling you guys already had a courtship, a dating of some kind. So this would not be new energy coming in. They want future with you. I think that's beautiful. Dear Aries, if you feel lost, if you feel alone, do know that your soulmate is drawn to you. And one day when Holy Spirit decides it's time is when you both shall meet. And if you're together with your soulmate now, do cherish what you have. Because life is very short. Reminder, I know you know this, but I must reiterate because it's really been on my heart and mind lately. Dear Aries, if you're single, if you'd like to manifest love, I would like to see what those opportunities are for you for the rest of August into September. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Dear Aries, who would like to attract love, what do you have in store for this divine being? Thank you, Spirit. This is for dear Aries, who would like to attract love. What is the promise that the portal energies will bring for you? Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is for dear Aries who would like to attract love.
Well, dear Aries, you're definitely going to be dating. Somebody wants to take you out. Courting man. Courting man. Dear Aries, this could be you who's getting suited up and booted up to take somebody out. Wine and dine them time. Or, dear Aries, this could be your partners coming in for you. A courting man. As well as spiritual growth continues for dear Aries. Continue to take action towards your spiritual well-being. Invest in some books. Read more. Travel is indicated in this month for dear Aries. Could be going somewhere beautiful, literally by plane. Or could also just be enjoying the sunset in your own yards. Travel together, though. This speaks to spiritual flight as well. As you continue to grow spiritually, you're going to, your soul is going to go on adventures that you didn't even know were in store for you. Again, courting man is of, uh, is of importance for you, dear Aries. And obstacles. There will be obstacles in your spiritual development, dear Aries, as well as in your courtships. Holy Spirit, thank you for the heads up. Clarifying obstacles for dear Aries. Eight of Swords. Feeling like you cannot change your present situations or that you are not making progress. How can dear Aries trust in their development and trust in their courting man <laughs> or in themselves who will begin to date soon if they're single? And for those in unions, how can they trust that they are on the right paths aligned with whom spirit would have them be with at this time inspired action take action when feeling desire follow your intuition synchronicity is a big thing to look out for as well as you are supported by the universe says holy spirit so in your obstacles inspired action will eliminate all obstacles so when you have a when you hit a roadblock don't just sit and stare at that rock right you're going to want to plan walking around it, climbing on top of it, jumping down from it. I mean, you're not going to let these obstacles obstruct you to the point where Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, where you feel like you can't change this present situation. As well as specify matters. This means intend, intend, intend. Today is 8-8. Eight, eight. If you are listening to my voice any day past today, the message is still potent. It's still powerful. It's still meaningful. Accept that you must specificity matters. Specificity. Whoa. Specificity matters, guys. So you must specify what you want. It says the universe can only give you what you ask for. Narrow it down. Be as specific as feels good. I always instruct clients to be very specific when coming to me for their personal readings. Link to book one in the description box below, guys. But quite literally, specify what you want from holy spirit not just oh send me someone to love like send me someone who has xyz traits whose background is abc like it'll get that specific okay for a lot of you continue to evolve spiritually be specific and be inspired to take action when a roadblock comes through all right romance angels advice for those in courtship what do they need to know thank you holy spirit for those in present unions with their soulmates. Too many. Thank you, spirit. What does dear Aries need to know who's dating at this time? Okay. It is your soulmate.
chemistry. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. See, Holy Spirit is bringing lots of you, many of you, a soulmate. Whom you will have great chemistry with. What is your good fortune, dear Aries? What is the portal activating today in your life? No matter who you are, no matter where you are. This is for both single and united, dear Aries. What's your good fortune in this season? Flowers, be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Flowers. Stop and smell the flowers. Dear Aries, I wish you all the best while you are up. Oh, CJ has selected. <laughs> okay, that help is on the way, dear Aries. The raging sea will soon abate and a great light will heal your heart. This is a time of deep, profound, and positive transformation. But courage, strength, and patience are required. You are supported by a sea of love. Dear Aries, believe in it. Something special is coming for you. Continue to evolve and accept all of the blessings on, on their way to you. Boop, ba -doo. Have fun. I love you guys for watching. Peace. Dear Taurus, love messages for your person, this Lionsgate. Lionsgate portal, 8-8. Eight, eight. Activation time. Your deepest dreams, goals, visions, and desires. Your deepest, deepest, deepest desires. Coming to fruition so long as you intend to move in the direction of your dreams. If you are a divine feminine watching this, dear Taurus, this is the message your divine masculine would like to relate to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What would Divine Masculine like to say to dear Taurus? Or dear Taurus, you are the Divine Masculine, perhaps. What are you trying to say to your feminine? Messages to the feminine. Messages to Divine Feminine. Final message to Divine Feminine. I'm sorry, says your divine masculine. Someone could have hurt you deeply and they are sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> divine feminine, your masculines are very apologetic. They're sensing it at the soul, on the soul level that th what they did was wrong. Our love is forever. I just hope you miss me a little when I'm gone. If you're in present unions with these individuals, um, they do hope that you miss them when they're gone from your presence. If this is about someone from your past, dear Taurus, there's, their energy is really thinking about you a lot these days. You could have had signs and synchronicities that confirm this. Special songs that you guys used to um, adore together coming on the radio or just a place that you might have visited that reminded you of them. So someone is very sorry and feels like soulfully that your love is forever, even if you guys don't get back together. And I trust you. Again, Divine Feminine, your masculines are saying, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Our love is forever. I just hope that you miss me a little when I'm gone, as well as I trust you. I feel like they trust 
that you're not going to completely forget about them as they have not forgotten about you. They trust that you will continue to love them, even from a distance, as they continue to love you. If you're single, what's coming in for you? 8-8 eight, eight Lionsgate. You can expect this over the com- next, um, the remainder of the month and into early September. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's coming in for singles in the Dear Taurus Collective? For singles in the Dear Taurus Collective. This month for singles in the Dear Taurus Collective. The next 30 to 40 days for Dear Taurus. Dear Taurus, money, ice king, freedom, triangle, money, and freedom. A lot of you are going to be going to work for yourselves or pursuing hobbies that bring supplemental income forward. Also coming into money from settlements and the like that will provide a greater freedom and sense of financial, um, financial freedom. For others of you, do be forewarned that a masculine in your life, you may be the masculine, is going to grow cold and might put you in a situation where the attention is split. The affections, the time spent, your masculines will seemingly perhaps okay (laughs) again this was if you're single so if you're single your masculines aka people of interest might so not if you're in a committed relationship you guys but if you have someone on your heart and mind maybe someone that you see from time to time this person might grow cold and also invite someone else into their heart and affections do be forewarned I see a love triangle, but again, this is not about someone who's already committed to someone else, so you don't have to worry about someone that you're actually in a committed relationship with sneaking outside of it. This is just for the singles who are dating. You might not be the only one that someone is dating, all right? This is Holy Spirit's heads up for you. If you are the divine masculine... What messages does your soulmate have for you? What messages does your soulmate have for you, Divine Masculine? This is from the Feminine. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Divine Masculine, the feminine wants you to kiss her through the phone, okay? Emoji kisses after your texts, after you say goodnight, all right? Kiss her through the phone. I just hope that you miss me a little when I'm gone. Mutual energy from Divine Feminine to the Masculine. 
when you guys are apart, even in separation, when you're thinking of each other, you kind of hope it's mutual. And it is. <laughs> Confirms Holy Spirit. I wouldn't want to be on this emotional roller coaster with anyone besides you, says Divine Feminine. I would not want to be on this emotional roller coaster with anyone but you. Please forgive me. You're both a little sorry, huh, dear Taurus? Oh, dear Taurus. What in the hashtag heck? Treat each other better, you guys. Whatever you intend on this day, I'm telling you, 8-8, eight, eight, baby, it's powerful. And I think of you day and night, night and day. The feminine thinks of the masculine day and night, night and day. How can you two maintain the love that you share? Thank you, Holy Spirit. For soulmates out there who know that they're in a soulmate bond, know that there's a connection that's strong. You both think of each other. You both are asking for forgiveness in your own ways. And how you can move forward together in love is by finding your inner peace, says Holy Spirit. It says clearing the past, ancient trauma, physical, mental, and spiritual practices. Love your inner child. You guys are sometimes called to be alone, dear Taurus, to find the inner peace that would balance you and that will reunite you. Another action for dear Taurus to take in order to attract love, especially on this most powerful day. Inspired thoughts, dear Taurus. It says alignment brings incredible ideas, new thoughts, new decisions, new immediate action, a new reality. May your thoughts be inspired towards good, towards union. If you think about your person today, May you guys reunite if you're with your person and you put them at the forefront of your minds. May your relationships progress and evolve into pure joy. Heart and soul oracle for my darling dear Taurus. Choose one dear Taurus. The message will be specific to you. If you chose this. Within each of us, there is yin and yang, feminine and masculine, passive and active. To have inner harmony, strive to balance all aspects of who you are. To align with your true nature, love, accept, and embrace yourself totally and completely. Inner peace, okay? Accept who you are. Align with your true nature by loving, accepting, and embracing yourself. Come to the inner peace of being single. Come to the inner peace of, you know, wanting what you want. Don't suppress your desires. Find yourself worthy of everything you desire and crave, and it shall come to you. Law of attraction. And if you chose this, An angel surrounds you with rainbow wings, here to reconnect you with your true nature, the balanced, healthy, sensitive, and loving you. Remember that there is more life than your achievements. There is more to life than your achievements. Consciously connecting your spiritual and physical realities will help you reconnect to the sacred, infinite, and creative part of yourself that is yearning to play a greater role in your life. This speaks to freedom. Okay, so connect more to the spiritual, the sacred inner you, your true essence, not who others have, you know, basically wanted you to be for so long, not the societal mold that you fit into so well, dear Taurus. 
but truly move with your own inspirations inspired thoughts crew okay may you be inspired may this reading inspire you to attract the love you deserve fortune reading cards for the good fortune coming in this month for dear taurus lion <laughs> the lion in the lion's gate come on now it says harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently harness this loyal and protective energy lion's gate portal the loyal meaning everything that you want sticking to you law of attraction your dreams shall be loyal unto you so that you may see them fulfilled. Your lovers, your spouses, your boyfriends, your girlfriends shall be loyal to you so that you can continue to be loyal to them. This is a mutual, balanced, beautiful energy. Harness this protective aura that surrounds you now, dear Taurus, as a collective. Understand that everything that is happening in your life right now is a mirror reflection of you. So if you think it's good, it's because you are good. If you think it's bad, it's because something in you is bad. Ask Holy Spirit to reveal to you. For anyone who'd like personal readings, I'm available. You can link me. Okay, baby, schedule something on my calendar. Link in the description box below before I go. Just wanting you guys to understand what today is tried and true this is from bustle.com it says so what is the lion's gate portal and the power of 8 8 the energy is activated by a few factors combined the rising of the star sirius which becomes visible in the eastern sky on or around 8 8 each year its alignment with the powerful summer sun in leo and the numerological symbolism of the number eight all of these factors carry majorly auspicious symbolism and work together to make august 8th a particularly lucky day for manifesting success and turning your dreams into reality so if you're into setting intentions or connecting with cosmic energy you don't want to sleep on the opportunity you guys got the lion in the lion's gate dear taurus please write down your intentions in a journal tonight um, sleep with it under your pillow, pray on it, meditate on it, whatever you'd like to do, attract the love that you deserve. Please be specific and Holy Spirit will deliver. I'm pretty sure of it. I love you guys for watching. Be blessed. Peace. Dear Gemini, welcome back to Saturated in Love. So what is the Lion's Gate portal and the power of 8-8? Eight, eight? The energy is a activated by a few factors combined the rising of the star sirius which becomes visible in the eastern sky on or around august 8th each year its alignment with the powerful Mommy, summer sun in leo yeah. oh my goodness thank you my love its alignment with the powerful summer sun in leo and the numerological symbolism of the number eight all of these factors carry majorly auspicious symbolism and work together to make August 8th a particularly lucky day for manifesting success and turning your dreams into reality. So if you're into setting intentions or connecting with cosmic energy, you don't want to sleep on the opportunity. And because uh, that was from bustle.com. And because I believe in the Lionsgate portal of today and the activation of energies, I just wanted to give the collective messages from their soulmate. So if you are the Divine Masculine, this is what Divine Feminine would like to say to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lion's Gate for Gemini, 8-8. Eight, eight. What would Divine Feminine like to say to their Masculines? Lion's Gate, 8-8. Eight, eight. Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. Lion's Gate, 8-8. Eight, eight. the feminine to the masculine lion's gate eight eight the feminine to the masculine thank you holy spirit i'm afraid of losing you i've never loved anyone as much as i love you I'm ready for our next chapter. Time is on our side. 
baby, let's get married. Oh, dear Gemini, if you are the masculine, your feminine, again, wanting to express that they're actually afraid of losing you. So if you're in unions and you know the love is real and the love is good, do know you are adored, okay? And the feminine does not want to lose you, as well as they have never loved anyone as much as they love you. I also just heard also never loving anyone the way in which they love you. So your love is special as well. And I'm ready for our next chapter. So this leads me to believe, dear Gemini, that this is about someone you already know. They are ready to progress your relationship, your friendship, your partnership, your kinship in some way, shape or form the bond as well as time is on our side meaning even when you don't see a future with someone when the love is real anything can change at in any given time and so under this portal of 8 8 this is the time to sit back reflect on what it is you truly want i would advise you to be specific with holy spirit dear gemini and request and this might not be you right because you might not be the masculine okay but this feminine again is talking to the masculine so welcome cross watchers you know the deal basically even if you are apart in some way shape or form time can definitely bring in some surprises let's just say that as well as baby let's get married divine masculines out there there's someone who wants to marry you okay if you can wrap your mind around that jazz then so be it what would divine masculine like to express to the feminine thank you holy spirit this is for dear gemini lions gate 8 8 what would the masculine like to express Dear Gemini, Lions Gate 8 8, what would the masculine like to express? I need you. Divine Feminine, your soulmates need you. That's how they feel anyway. Divine Feminine, Sometimes I struggle to find the words to say exactly how I feel. And look how I said they need you. But somehow, some way, they may not relay that to you. That's how they feel. And then here you go with the sometimes, sometimes I struggle to say how I feel. Okay. So you are feeling needed more than wanted in the collective. Dear Gemini or dear Gemini, this is your expression to the feminine all right as well as <laughs> i'm such a like two-year-old because these things is like what who wrote that oh yeah i did your sex is intoxicating says divine masculine to the feminine i'm ready for our next chapter where did we see this divine feminine definitely expressed the same so you both are both aware that time, again, is on your side. Because next chapter indicates there's more of a future to be had. There's more to experience together as soulmates. As well as, sometimes I feel like I don't deserve you. Divine Feminine. Sometimes this masculine feels like they don't deserve you. And it could be because of your history, okay? Once again, Divine Feminine, the masculine says, I need you. Sometimes I struggle to find the words to say exactly how I feel. Your sex is intoxicating. I'm ready for our next chapter. And sometimes I feel like I don't deserve you. I hope that resonated for many. If you are single, what can you look forward to 
for the rest of August and into early September. I would say this could be for the next 30 to 40 days. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If dear Gemini is single, what can they look forward to? What's coming in for them in love? If anyone's interested in a personal reading, feel free to schedule something on my calendar, link below. What's coming in in love for dear Gemini this month? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Long distance. <laughs> Why am I thinking of someone in particular? Uh, looks like somebody's coming in for you. Long distance. Okay, I like that. Work, dear Gemini. Work, 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 work. <laughs> You're going to continue to focus on your career. Meanwhile, someone who is far from you now might be coming in to visit to see you soon. Okay. Soulmate. And this is your soulmate. <laughs> How beautiful. Come on as well as a young male <laughs> look out for you could be the young male dear gemini or dear gemini a young male might be of influence to you in this month thank you holy spirit i want to gather the collective good fortune that the lion's gate portal is bringing i do want to advise you to journal this evening guys be specific in your requests so that you can watch them manifest. Your good fortune is a proposal, dear Gemini, a proposal of sorts, okay? Either come see me, I come see you, or will you marry me, quite literally, but it could be anything. Also at work, there could be a proposal in terms of taking on another project and getting paid more promotions, job opportunities, Oh, dear Gemini, a romantic or business opportunity is indicated. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. This is collective energy. And I do believe that I definitely see work here for the business opportunity. And I definitely see long distance soulmate, <laughs> young male for the romantic opportunity. Romance angel advice for those in union. What are the themes surrounding relationships in the collective? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Another message for those in union. chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here so for those of you with children enjoy times together with your children but do remember to also try and make time alone apart all right to evolve the chemistry between you two if your children are always with you and you don't have time alone that could be causing you know a feelings of separation even in being together okay you don't want to be with someone and feel like so far away from them like you miss them daily but they're right next to you so make that time alone because the chemistry is strong still between you and lastly dear gemini a heart and soul oracle thank you holy spirit heart and soul message for the portal Passion reignites and within the flawless patterns of each other's soul, you discover inner peace. You are caressed by each other's love and this unfolds as endless blessing. Place no restriction on one another. Be firmly grounded within each other's soil, but allow enough space for your branches to sway freely so that you each may dance to the song of your own spirit. Dear Gemini, as you continue to love yourself and be your true self, honor the chemistry honor the person that ha holds your affections 
and try again to unify excuse me please stop and try again to unify yourselves spiritually in spirit so again if you're in separation or you're single you unify yourself with your soulmate by thinking of your soulmates by reaching out to your soulmates by speaking to holy spirit and being specific and requesting the presence of your soulmates because again if you were single it's coming in for you this month anyway and if you're together a proposal of sorts I feel like it's time for dear Gemini to draw closer to someone in your life, someone that your soul loves. So I hope you guys enjoyed the romantic and business opportunities ahead. That was collective energy. I love you for watching. Be blessed. Peace.